What's up, mi gente? Steve Gonzalez, Valdez Restaurant, 606 King Street West, downtown Toronto. For our next move here, we're making arepas. These are a uh, Colombian favorite. They're made from, uh, from corn, uh, cornmeal and queso fresco. As uh, Andres is working here, we just work them down into little pieces. These go with our chorizos. This is a staple of uh, Colombian, the Colombian diet. Depending on kind of the, the time of the day and what you're eating will depend on the size of it. Here at Valdez, we make them a little fatter. So you can uh, kind of sop up the juice that comes from the chorizos. For our next move, we make our own chorizos in the house. It's uh, all, uh, it's all pork. We throw a Latino five spice, which is my signature spice. Uh, smoked paprika and sweet paprika, right? Yeah, and chimichurri, so a bunch of herbs, garlic, and orange juice. So we have this thing packed. This is a 10 pound, a 10 pound barrel. Uh, we usually get it out of a batch. We get about 60, about 60 chorizos. We're going through about 150 a week right now. They're selling like hotcakes. So what I do to start is that uh, I leave the end open to get some of the air out. Then we start cranking, right? And then we tighten, we'll tighten it up after when we start uh, coiling it. We usually go uh, to about five ounce portions. Tie it off there. We go here, pinch it, go the opposite way. It's a fresh chorizo, but we still dry them out for about two days, just so that the, the meat can kind of grab on to the, to the casing. They dry out, lose a little bit of the moisture, and they cook a little more evenly. So what Raf's doing here, he's gonna, he's gonna poke out the air pockets. So as they're drying, some of the juice comes out and they don't blow up. Again, one of the biggest, one of the biggest battles of uh, cooking chorizos, or sausages for that matter, is uh, not having the blow ups and getting them cooked perfect. You never wanna have a dry overcooked chorizo. All right, now Raph's gonna take these to the fridge and we'll hang them for two days. And these will be ready to serve in two days. Okay, so now we go to the flat top. You know, at first when we were kind of opening the restaurant, I was kind of worried that I didn't have a stove. I said, you know what, this is what the vision is. It's street food, right? A lot of spots you're gonna go to, they don't have a stove. They got a flat top or they got a, a wood barbecue or something like that, right? So right now we're doing everything on la plancha. So we, these are the arepas that we made earlier, right? They take a good 10, 15 minutes to cook. Then, the, like I said, Raf took the other chorizos to the fridge. And these are the ones that we made a couple days ago. They go straight on the grill. They're all seasoned, ready to go, and we'll finish them with salt at the end. Right? We'll take the chorizo, serve it whole. The arepas. And we just finish it with a little bit of mold and salt. Just for a little bit of crunch and salt. There it is, chorizo del jefe from Valdez Restaurant.